So next I'm going to show you the lily pen, and the lily pen is called the Luxura. And you can see it comes in three different colors. Why is there three different colors? Sometimes people are on different kinds of insulin, and so they want to be able to use one pen for one kind of insulin and one pen for their other kind of insulin, okay. then that way they won't mix the two up. This particular pen on the end, this is a green colored one, and what's special about it is that it can change the dose by half unit increments. So there are some children and there's some adults who really need to fine tune their diabetes and they're very sensitive to mm -hmm. the dose of insulin, so they can turn the dial, and every time they turn the dial and it clicks, mm -hmm. it actually changes the dose by a half a unit. Okay. They all operate exactly the same, so I'll uh, show you one of them. So next I'm going to show you how to use the Luxura pen, and I'm going to use this insulin. It's actually called NPH insulin, and it looks milky. Mm -hmm. Inside this glass tube, there's actually a little ball, kind of like a nail polish bottle, mm -hmm. and actually when I tilt it, sometimes you can see that little ball oh go back God. down. So I'm going to show you how we mix it before every single injection. Now. This pen, it comes with a cap on it, just like a regular pen does, and what I'm going to do is pull the cap off. Then these two pieces come apart in the middle, and I do that by holding onto one end and the other end, and I'm going to unscrew one end. Like that. You have to retract the piston to its starting position. Then on this end, there's a dose indicator window, and I can just turn this dial on the very end, it goes back and forth, and changes the dose. To put the insulin in, I'm going to put the metal end into this section first, goes in that end, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to screw these, fit this piece in and then screw it together. And do it all the way till it's firmly in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once I've got that tube of insulin in, I'm ready to use it. And if you're ready to use this insulin, the very first thing with this NPH, a cloudy insulin, is you have to mix it. Mm -hmm. So to mix it, you go up and down at least 10 times. Okay. okay. And why is it cloudy? It's cloudy because that way they can prolong the action of the insulin. So they've actually added a protein to it, which lengthens the action of the insulin. And this particular one, it works for about it's called an intermediate acting insulin, so it works anywhere from 12 to 16 hours long. Oh. Okay. So when I mix it up and down at least 10 times, then I should see it looking all the same color. So I just look at it and make sure it looks all the same. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like skim milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then um, I'm ready to put the needle on. So the needle, I just take the piece of paper off and I screw it on the end, firmly all the way down. And then it's got two caps on it, so I'm going to pull the outside cap off first. And then I'm going to pull the inside cap off, like that. Okay. Now, on this end, it's a dose window, and it's at zero. So before every single injection, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do what's called a priming. It's also called a safety check. To do that, I'm going to turn this dial to number two. And when I've got it at number two, I'm going to point the needle up to the ceiling. I'm going to push the button on the end, and I should see a drop of insulin come out. Yeah. So if I didn't see a drop of insulin come out, I'm going to repeat that step. And I'm just going to go one, two, point the needle up, push the button on the end. Oh. There. <laughs> <laughs> drop of insulin came out. Okay, so once that's been established, that there's no air in the system, and the pen is actually working, then you're ready to dial your dose. Okay. So let's say the dose is going to be 10. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mm -hmm. And it's ready for your injection. Okay. Did I'm you want to give that a try? Sure. Okay. Now I will try to do this myself. So I unscrew the tip. Let's just pull, it, pull it off actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, let me try that again. So I just pull it off mm -hmm. and then I unscrew. What's this part called? That's the cartridge holder. The cartridge holder, okay. And then I take the insulin and I put it down. Put it in like this. Perfect. And 
There was, okay. That's... Okay, so just like that. Perfect. And then I give that a shake. Mm -hmm. So before every injection, yeah, you have to mix it. You have to mix it well. Okay. So. Okay, and it's all solid colored. And then I take the needle. And I just screw that on the top there. That's right. Sometimes you have to push down a little bit first okay. and then screw it on. Okay, so just like that. And then I pull the tip off from the second one. Perfect. And then I give it the test, turn it to the prime it. That's right. Just like that. And then give it a little. Okay, so that means it's all ready to go with the little drop that came out. That's right. So a drop of insulin come out. Yes. Okay. And then you'd be ready to dial your dose. Okay. So that's eight. eight. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. That was simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with disposing the needle, I put the lid, the cap back on. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then unscrew it. That's right. Sometimes when you unscrew the needle, it's helpful to hold the pen oh, on the part. clear cartridge holder. Yeah. Otherwise, it might unscrew oh, in everything. the middle. Yeah. And then pull it off. Perfect. Okay. And then that goes into a, a biohazard container or into... A sharps disposal container or yes. a hard plastic container you might have at home. Okay. Perfect.